Assemble the appropriate tibial resection guide to the tibial PSI guide and place the guide onto the tibia. Use two parallel olive wires and a single oblique K wire to fix the guide in place. Confirm guide alignment using AP fluoroscopy and the tibial axis. Assemble the visualization bow and appropriate control cylinder to the tibial PSI guide and confirm the resection level and slope match the PSI plan. Stamp the medial tibial border using the 2.5 mm drill, skipping the most proximal hole. Insert 2.5 mm K wires into the medial and appropriate lateral hole of the cut slot. Complete the tibial horizontal resection through the PSI guide. Then, use the corner chisel to connect the tibial resection and medial stamping. Assemble the appropriate Taylor resection guide to the Taylor PSI guide and place the guide onto the talus, referencing bony landmarks. Secure the guide in place with olive wires and the oblique 2.5 mm K wire. Assemble the visualization bow to the Taylor PSI guide and confirm the resection level and slope match the PSI plan. Mark the peg locations. Then insert 2.5 mm K wires through the medial and appropriate lateral hole in the cut slot and complete the Taylor resection. Remove all K wires and all resected bone. Use the gap sizer to confirm adequate bone has been removed. If a recut is required, utilize the included resection cut adjustment block to take additional bone in 2 mm increments. Based on the sizes indicated in the patient-specific PSI plan, seat the Taylor chamfer guide into the marked holes on the resected Taylor surface. A lateral fluoroscopic view is recommended to confirm flush seating. Secure the chamfer guide to the talus using a single K wire through one of the two anterior holes. Prepare the posterior chamfer. Then, use the Taylor reamer to create the anterior chamfer. Care should be taken to advance the reamer until the lip is in full contact with the chamfer guide in each location. Manually place K-wires into the holes previously referenced by the guide. Ream over the K-wires using the cannulated peg drill that corresponds with the planned Taylor implant style. Remove any remaining bone fragments and seat the Taylor trial. Confirm full seating of the trial using fluoroscopic views. Assemble the planned insert trial to the insert trial handle, then slide the dovetail of the insert trial into the appropriate tibial trial until the lock is engaged. Place the assembly into the prepared joint space and mobilize the joint to ensure proper alignment and placement. Under fluoroscopy, verify the tibial trial is flush to the resected tibial surface. Reference the posterior aspect of the trial for final confirmation of the appropriate tibial implant length. Secure the tibial trial assembly using three K wires. Press down on the lock detail on the insert trial handle to disengage and remove the insert trial from the tibial trial. Then remove the Taylor trial. Prepare the tibial stem through the tibial trial using the stem shaper and impaction frame, taking care to maintain axial alignment during impaction. Remove the oblique K wire and the tibial trial once complete. Assemble the final tibial implant to the tibial implant holder on the back table and slide the tibial implant guide over the tibial implant holder until contacting the implant. Slide the assembly over the parallel K wires until contacting the anterior tibia. Assemble the impactor tip to the impaction frame and seat the tibial implant using axial force until flush with the prepared tibial surface. Remove the inserter stick and all remaining K wires. Insert the appropriately sized articular surface protector into the lock detail of the tibial implant. Then, seat the final Taylor implant using the Taylor impactor. Remove the protector once full seating of the Taylor implant is confirmed. Final trialing may be performed at this point. Confirm the desired tibial insert thickness by reinserting the insert trial and mobilizing the joint. Remove the insert trial upon confirmation. Manually assemble the final tibial insert into the dovetail of the tibial implant, advancing the insert until fully engaged and locked in place. The scroll wheel may also be used to advance the insert into the tibial implant. Close the surgical site by preferred methods.